that guy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, and oh, I have the banner going. The ocean and the clouds. Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> Aloha, Woo! everyone. Welcome Aloha. to the Dragon Fay reading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this will be fun. Thank you for joining me, Ginger and Nancy. Thank you for inviting Probably, me. Uh, yeah. Jump over and say some hellos real quick. Oh, look, Nancy and Ginger were the first ones in. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh my God. Oh, hello, you. Ramon. Aloha. Aloha, Harley. Hello, hello. Aloha, Heather. So, Alchemy with Indigo Jaguar. And aloha to everyone who's going to be coming in. Um, and anyone watching the playback. So today we were gonna do messages from dragons and of course friends of being here were like, like, what about the Fae? I'm like, okay, fine. You can do dragon Fae readings. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I came up, as you can see with this scrolling thing down below. Um, I love scrolling things. Right? Yes. <laughs> so uh, the first prompt is messages from your dragon guides or guides. Uh, the second prompt is messages from your fae guide or guides. And then the third prompt is how you can align with your higher self. So, um, your fae guide or guides. tell me, Ginger, how me. have you been working with dragons? <laughs> how have I been working? <laughs> well, Jean and I, Jean Sun Psychic Jean and I had done a little series. It was a lot of fun. So the first one was, um, just the myth, the legends, the magic of the dragons. And we did some readings, dragon readings. And then everybody loved us so much, we came back for a second round and just uh, exploring different dragon energies. And then we ended up with a third one. And then the fourth one, we actually just did dragon readings. And it was a lot of fun. And people are still asking for more. So this is perfect, Jonathan. Okay. <laughs> And Nancy, okay. I know well, you work with dragons on a regular basis, but I, how, I do. Yeah, how I is your work see. with the fae? Well, you know, there there are there are fairies amongst us. Mm -hmm. And we have to we have to to um, put little offerings out for them and um, look for them in lilac blossoms and things like that because they're, they're very magic they're out there we just have to look for them mm -hmm. so i did something recently which i never thought i would what did you do you did a fairy house didn't you yeah well i i got um so there's these little printed doors like fairy doors that i mm -hmm. put up around outside but then I also, we had these, um, my husband got me these ceramic mushrooms that are really pretty. They're always put in whatever garden or like house we're in. Mm -hmm. And I ended up ordering some little fairy houses that were like mushroom, but they really match the, the mushrooms mm. that you bought me already. So it's like a little mushroom village. <laughs> are they close I do to a fairy, I do a fairy garden every year. Our it's garden's fun. pretty much year-round, so. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet oh, you have Madonna. lovely fairies, year-round fairies, because of your climate and everything. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, just because you have winter doesn't mean the fairies are not. They're just sleeping. True, true. <laughs> They're, They're natural. Right? <laughs> oh, um, so sure. What fun. next? did you bring to play with today oh my gosh probably too many and i didn't even bring them all out what do i have i have <laughs> sounds like me <laughs> okay so i thought i'd choose actually i only have two fairy tarot really well i have fairy yeah. decks but i i thought it was fairy so i brought just fairies out so i got the un unnamed if she wants me to cover her name i don't know but anyways i got this way back this is like the very first um and i do like it it's um the images are really well they're done well and then i got the what i do with that, that box 
Okay. Too many this decks all around, right? <laughs> and this is the mystic fairy. So, um, let me. You know who she is. Um, <laughs> so I just got off work and ran up here. Um, anyways, so those are my um, tarot ones I got. And then I'm going to use tonight. I made, <laughs> I love Paolo Barbieri. Now, as soon as he comes out with the mermaid deck, I will be complete. So I've taken my night fairies, his dragons, and his unicorns, and I made one deck out of I took all my favorites out of it and made one deck. So I'm waiting awesome. for a uni, I mean, oh, I'm sorry, unicorn. Did I say that already? Um, so I'm waiting for a mermaid, and then I feel like I have the perfect mystic deck. And nice. then... Um, I just put them out here. Okay, fairy oracle. <laughs> fairy oracle, oh. and then I have this fairy whispers. Um, there's no images on it, but it's cute little sayings. So that's what I got so that I wouldn't do repeating decks. Um, I know you guys might have. So that's that's what I have so far, unless I go reaching for another. You might reach for another one at some point. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> what about you, Nancy? What did you have? Well, I have um, the Dragon Magic Oracle. I always have, I'm challenged with getting it on the screen. And I have the Oracle of the Fairies. Oh, nice. And I have the Wild Things Oracle. Oh, I have yet to use that one. Next, I have the Star Dragon, the Dragon what? Riders Oracle, and um, Diana Cooper's uh dragons and then i've got uh, you know a couple other decks just in case the plethora yes <laughs> just in case and just, jonathan what might you have yes so let me just finish shuffling this one thing here okay um <laughs> i pulled out well i guess i did three for each but um so for the dragons i have my tarot of dragons Ooh. i love this deck um, and then, uh, the same artist as the Susan Cooper one, but uh, she came out with her own Dragon Oracle, mm. the Universal wow. Dragon Oracle, uh, which I love that deck so much. Um, and then uh, I know Nancy has this, so I pulled it out because yeah. I love this one. For the love of dragons. For the love That's got to be on my wish list. Mm -hmm. And then as far as uh, the fae or fairy side goes, uh, I've got my fairy tale tarot deck from Namuchi. No, not right. Namuchi. Namuchi. Whatever. Um, and uh, the Three Keepers Oracle. And because uh, I don't really, I mean, I have fairy tarots. I just really wanted one tarot. Um, I pulled out this this little. The forest face. Mm, yes, I love that one. Yes. So those are the six I have in front of me. Of course, I have others that I pulled out, but I probably won't actually grab for them. I know. I'm trying to limit. I don't have the space. I know, right? Well, honorable mention, I did pull out the Field Guide to the Garden Dragons. I might reach I that made him do it. I'm not sure. <laughs> no. I forgot I have also the uh, the Dragon Tarot. Um, but it's more pippish, so I don't use it as often. Right. Um, you know, that was a uh, question in Heather's chat last night. Pips. Somebody wanted to know about pips. I, I used to not mind reading with pips, but then when I started really kind of channeling through images of our artwork, I kind of mm -hmm. just steered away from the pips altogether. Hi, Plucky. Hello, Plucky. And I saw someone else. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, Sue came in, and Donna Reader, and Ramon is here. Yes, I said hi to everyone except for those last two. I just said. okay. Hey, Jonathan, what happened to my wrench? Your what? I thought Nancy had a wrench too. We lost our wrenches. wrenches. <laughs> I swear. We don't have anybody There's something with something weird going on with YouTube or just the internet in general. Because um, I was talking to Betsy yeah. the other day, and she was on a live where suddenly at the end of the live, that channel lost all their subscribers. Like all the subscription, all the subscribers vanished. Like oh my god, zero subscribers. 
And then was it yesterday? I think yesterday Heather, Heather and Ramon were chit chatting and then it suddenly said there was like nobody in chat, but we were still chatting away. Yeah, just, last like, night. Right. And there was like, what, 15, 17 of us in there? And it said, yeah. And when I looked, it said one person. I'm like, is it only registering me? Like, where it's is everyone? Really yeah. chatting. <laughs> and I've had to subscribe to the same people I know I'm subscribed to. And it's like, what What do you mean I'm not subscribed? <laughs> that That's always been the case with YouTube. On. They have this weird algorithm that if you don't go to a channel within like a certain amount of time, you just automatically get unsubscribed. How I also noticed that if I subscribe to someone through a chat like this, mm -hmm. like the subscription will just vanish, even and though I just subscribed. Yeah. It's just, it's so hmm. weird. Like, I mean, why, 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 why do you do that? <laughs> okay, well, let me <laughs> jump on real quick here, because, you know, that's not right. Yeah, there's no blue wrenches at all. There's not one blue wrench, and I not know one. some of these people. I, I know, know I had one, Nancy had one. I know you did. Okay, let's and see. And then, let's I don't see. know. You can give one to uh, Ramon. We have no small, small blah, 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 blah. moderators. Right, that's not right. Okay. And now they have two different kinds of moderators. Standard what? moderator and a managing moderator. Right. Can manage block words and change chat modes in live. No, I don't need to do that. <laughs> uh, you want just the standard. Put us right, a standard. Just the standard. Yeah. At that, yes, we should do the remote. Yeah, because you don't want me putting you in timeout. That will. Well, uh, standard can still put me in timeout. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, and I know I gave Heather a, a, a ranch a long time ago. So. Oh, Mama Sushi's here. I'm just adoring those baby pictures. Thank you for sharing uh, them everywhere. I'm Mama Sushi. Okay, let's mm -hmm. see. Precious little face. I, I gave a few people a range. Hopefully that'll okay. be enough for now. I'm sitting here staring Ooh. at my phone. I am now a standard moderator for this channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Special. Wait, bubbles, bubbles. Time for bubbles. Gotta celebrate. Celebrate. Mm -hmm. So weird. Like, why did all my... Mo I have no moderator suddenly? What the... <laughs> what the fay, Jonathan? What the fay? <laughs> okay, I am going to jump to the top because I know a few people have already asked for. Oh, okay. Um, if you do want a reading, please put me in all caps, and I will try to star as many of you as I can. Um, I know you guys. Well, how much time do you have? I'm good. Whenever. Yeah, me too. So, we okay. just like hanging out with you, Jonathan. Well, I love hanging you got with you guys. Bubble slime all over me. <laughs> you got what all over you? Bubble. I was blowing bubbles to celebrate my wrench. Slime. All I heard was I got slime, slime all over me. me. Like what? <laughs> Fay bubbles. Fay bubbles. Fay bubbles. Slimier. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I should put some and rose Harley oil says, in them and YouTube make them is freezing our screens too. That's yeah, true. There's been times where I've been watching a YouTube thing mm -hmm. and it, it freezes for no reason. Mm -hmm. Right. Can I we stop playing my retrograde? <laughs> I know, right? It's it's a hardcore one. Um, it's just I don't know what's going on. I just gotta do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> and we shall. And the chef. So mm -hmm. right now I've got three uh, starred for readings. If you want a reading, like I said, just put in me in capitals or I'd like to read in Um. So our first one is Harley. Hey, Charlie. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. I already kind of pre shuffled a little because I knew I was going to be number one. So <laughs> one more shuffle here with the tarot. Uh, what I was planning on doing is, um, I know a lot of these, we just pull one card per situation okay. or per uh, position, but pull what feels right is what I said. All right, 
I'm being told two cards this time. I'm pulling one from the Throw of Dragons and one from the Universal Dragon. Oh, okay. So, Harley, uh, the messages from your Dragon Guides are we have the Shaman first. Okay. That, oh, is, that is this deck's version of the Magician. Uh, your dragons are reminding you that you have the power to create the life you want, right? As above, so below, right? And that as above, so below thing, we always think that's separate. No, it's like, I forget the exact phrase, but that as above, so below is a very much shortened version of it. Um, I'm having brain fart on like what the exact phrase is. But it basically translates to what is above is reflected in the below and what is below is reflected in the above, right? So there is no separation from the above. And, the above. and this is just a reminder that if you can think it, you can create it. And if you have the master of all the four elements, you are the shaman of your own life, right? And uh, the dragon oracle card that came out is this wisdom dragon, right? If you use your thoughts and your heart in conjunction to find the wisdom of what is the appropriate path for you, nothing is impossible. So remember, you are in charge. Use your wisdom to guide yourself. Love that. Did you say? Okay. <laughs> so the first card, I pulled an oracle first, and we've got the alpha. Um, for you. And so you are being called to step up into some sort of a leadership role. And it could be within your own life. Um, and the wolf energy repre can represent family, um, the pack. And it's all about using your instincts and intuition and that keen sight. And this could be your spiritual sight to be the leader and have people look up to you and um and your wisdom and they just know that uh uh you just have this beautiful quality about you that just shines and i just love that she has this beautiful white hair um lots of magical energy in that and then from the fairy tarot i got the wheel for you delays are over um and you can have sudden or unexpected good luck and if you're looking for a new car I'm just reading from here. But anyways, the wheel, it's all about cycles. And um, I said it in the other uh, live, wheel happens. We're in Mercury retrograde. <laughs> just So just go with the flow right now with everything. And just take that time uh, during this retrograde to just to step back and do all the reads, reanalyze, reflect, recharge, so that when Mercury retrograde is over, you have taken the alpha position in your tribe. So. Oh, I love that. That goes perfectly with the dragons. Yes. yes. Um, Harley, uh, because um, my prompt is how you would align with your higher self, I drew some other cards. Uh, the first one is the card of solitude. And, um, you know, sometimes we, we have a lot of noise around us. And when you're, when you're trying to align with your, your higher self, you need to kind of um, go away from all that noise and um, listen, listen to what you hear inside of you. Um, there's a lot that we have to learn. A lot is un unknowable. And um, when we take that time to be quiet, um, we can hear, we can hear where our path is going and what we need to do. And this card um, is from the uh, Osho Zen Tarot, and it's called Thunderbolt. And I want you to look at this because um, it looks like it, it, it is the tower in that particular deck. But I want to look, there is a person. The person um, has old beliefs and old systems that are falling away. And look at the power that is coming from above and it's going right through that body into the earth and grounding you. So I think that is um, 
your path in that regard. That's what I have for you, Harley. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Let me see if I can do this. I'm switching this up. Oh. oh, there I am. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, Beth. Welcome. Hi, Beth. Uh, hey, Dana. We have Sue Toffee. And mm. she really wanted uh, messages from her dragon bat and stuff. Okay. Well, you get all three. <laughs> yeah, you get all three. You yeah. start with the dragons. <laughs> yeah. All right, Sue Toffee. What is your message tonight? Okay. okay. So let me. Oh, I'm echo. All right, one more. Sorry. 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 Okay, so looks like you've got some. Um, fast messages coming your way. We've got the Eight of Wands here. And what's interesting about this Eight of Wands, that dragon is soaring so high that it's definitely these messages are ethereal and from your guides. And so um, take some time to ground yourself even though this is way high because you're going to go so high in um in connecting with source energy you need to be grounded so go into a if you can go into a deep meditation i know i have trouble with deep meditations <laughs> but um definitely your guides have a message for you and they're wanting you to connect with them and so just picture that white light around you and within you Call upon source energy and a clear channel to your guides and ask them for a message for your highest good. And remember, these messages can come immediately for some. Sometimes it's within a week or so in, in uh, messages, um, just things that you might see on the side of the road, signs, conversations from other people that you're not involved with. You just overhear. Uh, television so just be open and aware right now and then you've got the self gathering your power look at this dragon energy oh, <laughs> this wow. is fire power this is um this is very much wands energy as well just as much as this is so definitely um not that fire within you is just wanting to come out um, through your creativity, through your passion. So working on your manifestations right now, Sue, is um, I think what your guides are calling you to do. And just know that you are protected. You've got this dragon protector here. So um, you're you're off to a new journey, I feel, Sue. And um, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Um. So I have two cards for you. Uh, the first card is uh, from the fairy deck that I have, and it's called Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking on any spiritual work. There you go. Boy, that's beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful card? And then this is from a fairy deck, but um, it has dragons. I love <laughs> it. It says... It says do not look for validation in others. Be uniquely you and follow your own path. So that's what I have for you, Sue. Wow. Okay. Both of those readings really go along with the cards I got. So for the love of dragons says, um, so I got the watcher here, which is a reminder that sometimes we need to take a step, not step back, but step up. And like during meditation, Go as high as you can to look down and see the big picture of what's going on in your life, right? Um, paired with the Keeper of Sleep here from the Tree Keepers Oracle, um, this is a reminder that sometimes you need to rest in order to be able to have that view. Because sometimes we get so caught up with everything that we're doing, we don't take that step back to be like, okay, wait, what should I really be doing? Um, so the fairies and dragons are telling you, rest, take a moment, just breathe. And while you're breathing, 
send your consciousness up, connect to your higher self so you can see your life from the point of view of your higher self. Beautiful. And then, then you'll know what action to take. Hope those resonate. All right, I'll have to get that Love of Dragons one. Oh, and then be done with dragon collecting. <laughs> well, you know what? Truthfully, any of the the oracles by Andrew Stones, <laughs> they're all amazing. I love mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. yeah. So thank you, Sue. I hope that was helpful. And now I remember, it's Ravencroft. <laughs> well, Ravencroft did these. <laughs> I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> Let's see. Up next is Plucky. Plucky, okay. I love it. Let's see what we've got for you, Plucky. Oh, you're so welcome, Harley. Let me do what Harley has to say. Aww. Okay. Um, Nancy, thank you so much. That was such an encouraging, hopeful, and inspiring package of messages. I really need to hear this. It's so cool. It's for you all related messages. It's of course sweet. you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love you, Harley. Are we, are we reading for Sue now? Uh, Plucky. Plucky, okay. Uh, Plucky, I have three cards for you. Um the card of tranquility, um, harmonious inaction. You know, it, it's like we always want to be doing something. But um, here, look how she's resting with her dragon. And uh, she's gathering strength. She's um, listening to uh, spirit within. Uh, the second dragon is the dusky pink dragon from Andromeda. Prepares all your chakras to embody higher love. Accept and radiate higher love. Touch others with its flame. Higher love. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Ooh. And the final message um, for you, Plucky, is dragon's luck. And I love this for you. Listen. Good fortune will now be yours. We have been collecting abundance, fortunate meetings, all manner of good things for you, human child. We send them to you now. Know thou art blessed. So, Lucky, um, the first card I pulled for you, which made me pause until I saw the second card, is the tower, right? So it might feel like your whole world is falling apart right now, uh, but the Fae want you to know that that's just temporary. That's just a moment in time. And it's really giving you a chance to rebuild, right? Because the next card I pulled was Keeper of Sanctuary. And this is a reminder that really it's our own thoughts that make where we are either a castle or a hobble, right? Um, what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on all the destruction happening around you? Or are you focusing on the opportunity that destruction brings to rebuild the things that weren't working, right? So only you get to decide what is a sanctuary and what is not. And it's your thoughts that really help control whether or not you feel like you're constantly caught in the tower moment or you are finally over and moving on to rebuild. Mm. That was perfect helpful. and it's a perfect segue for my reading um so before i show you um i think this energy you know it's all how how can you align with your uh, higher self and in what i'm going to read you i feel the overall energy is about equal exchange of energy so the first one i got was follow me you're being invited into that fairy realm. Let me read. This is your invitation to enter the fairy realm. Okay. <laughs> you must be invited. <laughs> but the fairy realm. So this is asking you to basically free your mind for a moment in time through this chaotic world right now. Mercury retrograde. This whole 
um, solar eclipse energy. Um, fairy realm is just where you can just spread those fairy wings and just be, be one with nature, be one with yourself. And that in itself is aligning with your higher self. As soon as you free your mind and ask and, and intend for all your bonds and self-limiting beliefs, be just freed and break free from them. Um, and then I pulled from fairy, fairy whispers, your message, fairy blessings. Receive our healing by sharing your world with us. Invite us to play amidst your flower beds, dance upon your crystals, and warm ourselves by your hearth. Then our wisdom will be yours. So there's where that equal exchange of energy is happening because they're inviting you into your their world and they would like to be invited into your world. And so that equal exchange of energy is going to be a very healing, loving, and insightful energy. And you will be recharged and realigned with your higher self when you do so. so that's the message. Oh, welcome, Sonia. Hello, Sonia. And so Mary. Sarah says that was on point and resonated. I need guidance. Okay, I'll re rise, rest, watch, then decide. Thank you, you beautiful Earth guides. Yeah, so, most definitely. Fabulous. Let's see next. <laughs> we have Donna. Donna. Oh, wait. Let me move us around. Here. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Welcome, Mary. <laughs> yes, Donna, I saw you earlier. Ooh, that's a nice um, pairing. So the first card I pulled for you, Donna, is the fool. This is a reminder that life is a journey, right? And sometimes it might feel like we're about to fall off a cliff or, you know, but don't forget you've got those wings to carry you. And oftentimes we forget that by taking that leap of faith, the path will rise up to me on a foot, right? So... This is uh, <clears throat> a reminder too, because we got uh, the conjurer for you, is that by taking those leap of faith, that's how you conjure the life of your dream. Right? So don't forget, spread those wings and fly to the life that you desire. <laughs> There's so many songs going through my head with that. <laughs> Right now. <laughs> uh, welcome, Warrior Girl. To Major Tom. Okay. I'm laughing here because my two cards are just synonymous. Um, we've got the Hanged Fae. Perfect card for this Mercury retrograde. Um, two things. Hang in there, baby. Mercury retrograde is only, what, five more days? If we don't count, wait, today's not the 19th. Uh, seven more days. <laughs> but while you're hanging in there, hang in there amongst the flowers. You know, it's springtime. It, everything's blossoming. So go out into the gardens or the park. Um, and if you have neither, go buy you some uh, potted flower plant. And just that aromatherapy. Um, and as you brush your fingers in the leaves and the petals, very med meditative. So, um this hang fei is all about just pausing and getting a different perspective on things and a higher perspective. So when you're um, uh, in that nature, you're communicating with Gaia, first of all. So um, she puts a different perspective because she's grounding, yet with the trees and everything, she's got that higher perspective. You can climb those trees um either physically or in your mind's eye um and just just get the 
bigger picture view um, up there. And um, so this would be like in meditation. You're going to do a little, let's say, semi astro traveling and just, you know, survey, survey. <laughs> Um, and then I got snail's pace, and that's why I was laughing because we got the hanged fay hangout and a snail's pace. Um, it says slow down, grounding, listen for the heartbeat of the earth, subtle energies. So you're being asked to tune in to the vibrational energy of Mother Earth. And as I always suggest, when you're grounding with her, send her love and healing where she needs it most. But take the time just to be be present be silent be in mother earth's energy be in the magic <laughs> what's going to happen with donna uh, donna uh the first card i have for you is for you to honor your body as a friend love every part of yourself even the things that you don't like about yourself embrace them work through them if there's something that you want to change the second card is commune with nature and i love this for you look at all the animals and this kind of goes along uh, with what ginger was saying about uh, grounding yourself and uh, being outside with mother nature um, it's so important for us to do that because um, it helps us it helps to restore our souls and um, to um, for us to embrace um, just everything that's outside. Sometimes when we're inside, we forget about the beauty that's out there and we need to embrace it. And the third card, I love this card. This card is Bloom in the Mud. Oh, and okay. we all have different circumstances. But look at this precious, this precious person. This is you, Donna. And, uh, you know, things don't always go the way we want them to. But you just stick your feet in that mud and you become a lotus and become absolutely beautiful and allow it to be a means for you to grow. And that's what I have for you, Donna. That was amazing. And Donna said, this is my first spring in my new home. And it's been very Ooh. exciting to hang out with plants and flowers. Here. All right. That's I love that. And then she also said, oh, wow, Nancy. Oh, wait, where we go? <laughs> oh, wow, Nancy. That is a powerful message for me right now. Oh, perfect. And jumping back to the message, to the reading we just did for Plucky, she's like, wow, and thank you. I love oh. the dragon luck coming in. The tower is right on. My bathroom flooded into both bedrooms. Oh. So my space is weird and cluttered. Finally getting it all fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Dang Mercury retro right. eclipse. <laughs> and then Donna also said, and Jonathan, I do feel that I'm about to take a huge leap in about another month. Mm -hmm. mm. So very welcome, Donna. You know, there is a crystal that helps with clutter. It's preonite. Oh, preonite. Mm -hmm. And boy, do I need this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be all. <laughs> I've been going through things. And I mean, it's it's kind of harrowing, but it's wonderful when it's done. Mm -hmm. That's called the tower card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Here me first. Go. Flipping around. And our next reading is for Sonia. Oh, okay, Sonia. And then, ooh, okay. All right, Sonia. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Slippery cards. Okay, so my first card for you, I pulled tarot, Six of Swords. So what I love about this image is, first of all, you can't really see it. I don't know if you guys can, but there is a dragon out here um amongst the stormy waters and i feel like that dragon is your guide and he has placed these um swords going towards the shore for this little birdie who was lost out at sea to just use these as their little stepping stones stepping swords to go to safety to go to land so um it is your time to be 
coming from that which does not serve you into more of a safe haven for you, um, a place where you feel safe and comfortable and know that things are getting better. You can see the light. That darkness is behind you now, and you're moving towards the light, so moving towards lighter days, more happy days. And then I got freedom breaking from chains. <laughs> so same, same difference. <laughs> You're finally going to be breaking free from those chains that have been binding you and blocking you from moving towards your higher purpose for your happy. So um, just be patient through the process. Trust in the divine that they are leading you where you need to be. And um, it's going to be a beautiful journey for you. So there you go, Sonia. Sending you much love. Sonia, I have three cards for you. The first one is the card of focus. Ooh, pretty. And what you need to focus on is to see with your eyes and heart wide open. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to um, have our heart wide open because, you know, you can get hurt when you do that. But there's so many blessings when you do. And the third card I love for you, Sonia, it's the card of hope. Hope is always there, even when we can't see it. Optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into a positive one. And look at that beautiful dove. Isn't wow. that gorgeous? I love that for you. That's what I have for you, Sonia. Oh, how you can align with your higher self goes perfectly with what um, these lovely ladies have already said, because the first card I pulled was Ooh. growth, right? Oh. And if you notice, the growth is coming from within the dragon's claws. So this is about like inner growth, mm. pushing those boundaries, getting beyond your comfort zone, right? And that is the only real way we can grow, is to push the boundary, find our comfort, the edge of our comfort zone, and step just past it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and the other card I pulled, which was a Forest Bay card, um, Owl Song, Whisper Secrets to the Moonlight, Find Strength and Stillness, which goes perfectly with this image here. Right? So, it, you know, it's okay to like pause for a moment, find your inner strength, and then expand grow right so um listen to the inner wisdom because it knows best right mm -hmm. your inner wisdom is your higher self communicating with you and that growth that growth between the dragon's claws is the inner growth that you go through by doing these things that we've been talking about right? so i hope that that's that beautiful jonathan oh thank you i hope that resonated sonia um, All that green in that dragon card. Beautiful. I know. Some of these messages. And look, are I'm just... wearing green dragons. Which I was noticing that, that as you were holding it up. I'm like, you've got a dragon shirt on. <laughs> yes. Come which on. Deck you is think that, that Jonathan? <laughs> what was that, Nancy? Which which dragon deck is that? Um, this is the um universal dragon that, that's that's beautiful with the the growth inside I, I love that oh yeah well i mean i really like that um the dragon deck you have by the same author mm -hmm. or artist um mm -hmm. but i don't know well, there was sometimes the title of the card didn't really match for me mm -hmm. but with these yeah because the artist did her own deck created her <laughs> own deck instead of just making art for someone else yes Yes. The the words and the 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 feeling of the art just go so perfectly together that mm -hmm. it's one of my favorite yeah. dragon articles. It really is beautiful, beautiful. Hmm. And then Sonia says, "Yes, thank you so much, Ginger." And yes, Nancy, so true. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. See, I thought I was blurry because of my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've been a little blurry. But we can yeah. still see. We can see for the most part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did move it. Maybe it's just. 
Next is Amy, warrior girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so welcome, Sonia. Oh, great. Right. But just her hands. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I'm doing dragons, huh? Okay. You're the dragon lady. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Carly. Yes, don't forget to subscribe to these lovely ladies' channels. Thank you. Links are in the uh, box below. first card I got for you is Mother Earth and Vita. Uh, Vita is the dragon. And all things are interconnected. Feel the deep peace and sense of connection that results from this knowledge. And that's a beautiful message that we're all connected. Especially coming from, from Mother Earth or Gaia. Uh, the mm -hmm. second card is the card of surrender. It says letting go of the darkness. Now, I don't know what this darkness is, but um, I imagine that you do. And um, see the dragon, he's kind of wrapped around her forehead. It might be that, that, that you're thinking of something that, that bothers you or, um, you know, something that you haven't forgiven or um, uh, something that you need to let go of. Um, and... Um, the final card that I got for you is Dragon Wealth. And this is what it says, Warrior Girl. Let go of fears that you are not worthy or that you are incapable of coping with success. You need not fear the bright light that shines within. The world needs your energy and now. I love that for you. That's amazing. That goes perfectly with what I pulled. Because the first thing I pulled was the tower. I was like, oh, no, not again. <laughs> But this one I feel like is more about keeping yourself isolated in the tower, right? And this is a reminder that you need to leave the isolation in order to connect with others, right? And sometimes that's why the tower needs to collapse in order for us to escape our isolation. Because the next card I got was the keeper of sharing, right? And you see the sharing tree here is like feeding the whole forest. Mm. You see, there she is uh, asking for her wishes, right? But it could also be a reminder that you have so much to share, and by staying in your tower, you're not sharing with others. There could be someone out there that is looking for a beacon of light, and you know what? Maybe it's time to turn that tower into a lighthouse. So uh, the third little... I, I pulled a, one of the forest fake cards because it was calling to me. And I pulled the Thimble Witch. There is magic in beginnings. So start something new. Yeah. Yeah. I love so, that. I think that this the, all together is like, okay, instead of being isolated, turn that isolation into something you can share. Turn it into a lighthouse. Turn it into something new instead of it just being this isolation trying to Shield yourself from the darkness. Beautiful. Okay, what is going on, warrior girl? <laughs> I got the nine of wands for you. So this is a call to say that your struggles are almost over. You need to just hang in there just a little bit longer because your way is being lighted, but you need to go through some healing and respite right now. So that, that's exactly what this card is saying here. You need to heal. You need to pause. 
um, you know, you've got burns here. Ooh, okay. <laughs> little bit of burning here um so it's time to soothe those burns um i would say even some herbal remedies for you as far as um you know go within and feel it what your body might need right now and um you know even like like tonight i'm drinking turmeric ginger tea i feel like i need some inf anti inflam anti inflammatories is what you need warrior girl <laughs> So um, maybe do something uh, like that to heal within. So, um, and then I have carrying home support. Allow others to help you. So that could be also part of your respite right here is you keep carrying all the weight on your own and it's time to let somebody take care of you, pamper you, if you have someone to that would do that for you. Even if you have children, let them, you know, have them make you that cup of tea or run you a bubble bath. But it's time for you to be pampered, taking care of you. And um, just know that you have a lot of love and support around you. But what I'm seeing in this image is a lot of purple. So for me, that's um, calling on your uh, crown chakra right now. So maybe do some um, crown chakra meditation, healing meditation. Because maybe it's so blocked that it's causing you to just feel weighted down. But um, do some chakra cleansing, do some herbal cleansing, and just take time to nurture yourself at this moment. And um, by the time retrograde is over, you'll be alive and kicking with fire inside of you and um, ready to take on the world. <laughs> Anti-inflammatories. <laughs> yes. What hugs? Uh, thank you, Ginger. Just what I need to hear. Says Amy. Awesome. <laughs> and then she also got a message. Ah, yeah, it jumped on me. <laughs> oh, the nerve, nerve damage. Oh. Okay. So, do you see it? So. Uh, well, I've been, I've been getting that message a lot lately. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um yeah yes, that's nice Ooh, i'll have to try that i almost oh, mixed here, it with it up. i don't know why stream okay. is being really slow today mm. well, you know, turmeric is very good for inflammation yeah oh, yeah. yeah i i love my turmeric tea i just drink it straight that's out. why i got I mine add anything hashtag nancy made me do it yes. <laughs> But when nerve pain, that, that really worked. I mean, yeah. Wow. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Turmeric and, um, yeah. I know when I miss my turmeric curcumin after a few days, my body tells me, excuse me. <laughs> excuse, excuse me. me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, just so you know, uh, speaking from a herbalist point of view, turmeric is great. But the best way to get the most out of it is to mix turmeric with a little black pepper. The black pepper okay. activates the turmeric, so you get a That's much right. stronger effect yeah. from it than just the turmeric mm -hmm. by itself. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you cook with yeah. turmeric, add black pepper to it as well. There you go. Yeah, because it kind of would taste funny in the tea. I like the turmeric golden <laughs> milk, and you know, you make it oh, with yeah. pepper. Yeah. That mm -hmm. that to me is the most nurturing. Uh, it's like a nice cozy blanket yeah. yes Definitely. yeah like i said my body my joints it knows when i've missed my turmeric um, yeah. and then work. brendan's here Hi. <laughs> ocean gd's brendan hey. Hey. Um, oh it's 555 five right now <laughs> it's 1155 here <laughs> 1155 five. there you go hey <laughs> All right. So okay. our uh, this is our last mm -hmm. one, I think, because we are coming up on the hour. Unless anyone okay. else do um, jump in for one last thing, um, or we could do a, uh, a collective reading for the end here. Okay. Um, so Mary is next. 
shuffle will. It's been a minute since I got the shuffle. And uh, Nancy Harley says, you hit the head on the nail. Oh. Okay. So the first card I pulled, Hugh Mary, is the Sire of Cups, which is the uh, the same as the King of Cups, right? Um, this is just a reminder that you're in charge of your emotions. Only you get to decide what you're feeling and if and what other people do affect you. It's because you're letting them. I mean, sometimes, yes, we have our children as this cup here has this small dragon sitting on it. We have to take care of our children and they pull our heartstrings in the best and the worst ways. Um, but the thing to remember is hold true to your truth here. Okay? Don't let the emotions cloud your vision be sure that you are really truly holding on to who you are and your truth no matter what anyone else is saying don't let anyone make you feel bad for your truth because that's just another emotion that they're trying to control you with, right but this is a reminder that you are in charge of your emotions only you get to allow others to affect you I have for you. Yeah. It's the movies. <laughs> so, um, I got this card. It's called Dawn, but it's very, very much that strength card, too. Look at that beautiful bear. Oh, no. Okay, so just remember no matter what you've been going through, the dawn is coming for you. Um, it's lighting your way. And just during this retrograde, again, I'll say just. This is a time for us to really step back and heal within. And but look at she's got butterfly wings. And um, so for me, that that's definitely a time of transformation. And you're being called to use your inner strength to keep going, to keep pushing on, because you are journeying towards that dawn light. And I'm gonna read bear energy real quick. Gotta do it. Um, okay. Bear energy is all about strength, hibernation during this time. I'm echoing all of a sudden. <laughs> um, it's also about intuitive guidance. Who would have thought? Bear energy. Mm -hmm. Oh, gentle and wise protector. Honor your intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are your strengths. A need for alone. Um, this could be a time for you to be needing to be alone and dedicate your energy towards your inner journey. And I love that because I didn't plan this. <laughs> um, you got the magician card. So in this magician, it says you can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. But look at this. That road is wide open for you. That dawn has come for you to see this road and be in, using your intuition to guide you where you need to be right now. And again, call upon that inner strength and that magic within you. And um, you're strong, yet you're loving and gentle. So that's just a reminder for you, dear. <laughs> Love it. Um, Mary, I have, I have three cards for you. The first one is Confucius and... Zingfu, it says, you have come a long way along the path of mastery. Learn now from your own soul where the light of ancient knowledge shines. You are now ready to receive everything. I love that for you. From the Fae, it says, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings the fairies say you can bless others too and i want you to look look at them with their hands up in the air um they're receiving blessings and they're also giving out blessings 
Uh, and the final, the final card that I have for you is Dragon Star. And I think this is the most important one. Human child, we see the lost parts of yourself. We return to you now the missing pieces of your soul. Claim them and become the shining star you were meant to be. And I love that for you. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Human child, we see the lost parts of yourself. We return them to you now, the missing pieces of your soul. Claim them and become the shining star you are meant to be. Mm -hmm. That's really beautiful. <laughs> Hi, Fatima. Welcome. Fatima. Um, you know, so you know how everyone is complaining about you being fuzzy, Ginger? Yeah, I just noticed that like you're fuzzy on the main screen, but your little like you know how on streamer you can see like a little mini version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little mini version is just fine. It's there is day. Isn't that weird? Mm. See, um, when I move my glasses up, I'm clear. <laughs> <laughs> my trifocals are like. <laughs> I got progressives too, so. Yeah, I love them, but not on live. I'm going to have to get me some readers for lives, I think, because I'm like, I can't see. <laughs> uh, yes, Lucky with Agador. Yes, my Nancy's Agador cute there. little Agador has been, you know, tucked away for the winter in a warmer room, and she's brought him back, and I'm so happy to hear his chirping. Yeah. He, he likes to hang out with y'all. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> you guys okay, want to do okay. uh, one final collective reading? Let's do it. And then we'll call it a day. All right. Ooh, ooh, I'm stuck at the collective higher selves. Ooh, that's interesting. Ah. Ah. Okay. What's the man of Buddha? I gotta finish first. <laughs> All right. Can we pull two each? One dragon, one fairy? Yeah, that sounds good. One dragon, one fairy. Okay. All right. For the collective, my beautiful, sweet souls, we have two cards that won't come apart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, so first of all, Dragon Energy for the Collective. And again, it's all about Mercury Retrograde. we got the Hermit here. Look at that. So this Hermit, it's almost like he, this Hermit Dragon is protecting the light and or he's just receiving that healing light energy, that warmth. Um, he, he's feeling protective. So right now during the retrograde, we have to withdraw so that we don't get caught up in the chaos out there. Withdraw. Use that inner light that is within you to heal, to empower yourself, to regenerate. Um, and then when the Mercury retrograde's over on the 25th, we can emerge feeling just, we can rejoice, stretch our wings, our dragon wings, our fairy wings, and... Um, we're just re-energized. And then I have, um, this is interesting. It's a mother-daughter fae, fairy. Um, it's about mothering, teaching, sharing knowledge, and nurturing self-worth. So as we're doing going inward to do some inner healing, um, just remember that you are a nurturing soul. And you have a purpose. And part of everyone's purpose here is healing. Whether we heal through our touch, our words, our thoughts, let's remember to be mindful of our thoughts and our words because they can make a huge impact. And this right now, I think we all need a little nurturing. That's, mm -hmm. that's good energy. Definitely. Well, I have, I, I pulled two cards, one, one dragon and one from the fae. Uh, the, the one from the Fae, the Gryphon, be brave and fly above the clouds. That's what we need. Oh, okay. Just soar. Just soar. Let Love your it. spirit soar. And 
the dragon card is the sovereign dragons. You are the sovereign of your life, the true ruler of the realm. Reconnect with your power and use its sacred golden energy with confidence, care, and great respect. Oh, wise one. I am just saying hello to Benet real quick. My friend Benet is in the So you're going to laugh at what I just pulled. Um, so from <laughs> the Love of Dragons, I pulled the Fairy Talist with a dragon, right? And then from the Tree Keepers, I pulled the Keeper of Fairy Tales with a dragon. Oh, how funny! Right? Mm, there so are no just a reminder <laughs> that our, our higher selves are trying to remind us that our lives are fairy tales. Right? We are the writers of our own fairy tales. And those fairy tales are multi layered. They have many messages um, for, you know, think about how your, your life mirrors the fairy tale you love. Um, also, you can mirror your life to fairy tales that you love. <clears throat> Try to really embrace the fairy taleness of the world. Um, it's just a reminder that, like, the stories we tell ourselves is what ends up happening. Mm. So you have to be careful about which fairy tales you're telling yourself as to, like, what is your life, right? What is your yeah. life? What fairy tale are you trying to mimic? What fairy tale are you telling yourself? Because whatever we're mimicking, that is how our life unfolds. So which fairy tale do you want to embody the most? Mm. That is the message we're getting here, is that our lives are the fairy tales. Oh, I love that. I was just yeah. watching the chat. They're talking about eyes and stuff. Um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna have, I went to the ophthalmologist yesterday, and I'm going to have to have cataract surgery on both my mm. eyes. Yes, so I'm looking forward to that because I will you see You can do one before. at a time? <laughs> Wanted to, oh, yeah. Do you have the opportunity? I want to do both. But so well, that's what I have ahead of me, but I'm looking forward to it, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah. You know, Jonathan, you, you were talking about we, we live by our fairy tales in a mm. nutshell. Um, we went to a store, it's called Second and Charles. It's kind of like a books of a million, they have anything collectible there. And I saw the uh, this Funko Pops is what my son collects. They they look like the old fashioned bobble head, only their head doesn't bobble. And um, I saw the Snow White one, and I said if I collected them, I would be Snow White in my fairy tale. I feel like I'm Snow White. If if I'm gonna liken myself to any of the fairy tales, I feel like I'm Snow White. <laughs> what are your fairy tales? Hmm. Well, one thing I always think of is the happily ever after is usually just the beginning. There you go. Right. I love that. I, love that. I remember a fairy tale when I was little. I was just thinking about it. My daddy got me a book and it was uh it was called the 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 dipper. And it was about a woman who um dipped her cup into a well and she saw the moon and when she dipped it out the stars went up into the sky oh sweet oh, I yeah. and i love that um i i can't you know i can see it i've got the book it's it's packed away but i've got it i need to pull it out and give it to my grandchildren but mm -hmm. oh my god harley <laughs> No, I just saw that. Harley says, that's so cool, Jonathan. Not sure if I'd want to be Rapunzel. <laughs> All that climbing on my hair would give me quite a headache. <laughs> <It's> very true. <laughs> oh, and uh, Nancy, Donna says, I know who had, those I know who had that surgery were so happy afterwards. Yes. Awesome. Yes. I tell you, with, uh, you know, them dilating your eyes and then they have to shine these bright, bright lights in your eyes to 
look around to make sure, you know, to see around the cataracts and everything. That yeah. was not fun, but, um, you know, we, we have to take care of ourselves and especially our eyes. Our eyes are so important. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, well, I had one card kind of jump at me. So okay, jumper. Um, Let's do a jumper. This is the Troll Fae. Follow the secret signs, as treasures can be found where you least expect them. Speaking of fairy tales. I'm laughing because when I had asked you about your fairy tale, I was thinking about the troll under the bridge. And not that you're doing (laughs) that fairy tale, but um, there's a park that my sons and I go walking through the woods. And there we happened upon a wooden um, bridge that goes over one of the streams. And um, I would take my walking stick and I would tap it three times and I would have my son, um, Kyle, I'm like, what do we say? He's like, may we have permission to cross the bridge? (laughs) (laughs) I love that. So that is funny. And then you pull that card. (laughs) Of course. I was wondering why it was jumping out at me. Harley says, fairy tales were originally adult stories. They didn't sell too well and were brought down to kids, right? Ah. It's very true. I've got, I have quite the collection of fairy tale books here. Mm -hmm. Like the Grimm's Mm -hmm. fairy tales, Mm -hmm. the original ones. Yeah. They were pretty brutal. Yes, they were. Oh, my goodness. And then I have Aunt. Uh, Hans Christian Andersen fairy tales. They weren't that I much have that one, I mean, All of the original fairy yeah. tales were very dark yes. until Disney mm-hmm. got their hands on them, right? Right. Mm-hmm. And even in the beginning, if you'll see some of those old black and white Disney tales were kind of scary. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm. Oh. Right. So. Yeah, me too, Harley. I was, I was going to say that. <laughs> Jonathan, this was fun. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, it has. It's been a lot of fun. So what is my fairy tale, you ask? I'm the Aloha Gnome. (gasps) There you are. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir. The big kahuna. (laughs) Jonathan, how did you decide to move to Hawaii? So it's kind of complicated, but um, I was an acupuncture student. I had passed the national boards, so that means 49 states I could practice in. Well, some states still have uh, acupuncture as being illegal. Um, oh, goodness. But <laughs> California had their own boards, <clears throat> and I took those boards so many times. Like, it's choking me up just thinking about it. Oh. And I kept taking the California boards and kept getting worse and worse scores. California is tough with their boards. Well, I don't do well with tests. And the way that it's set up, that testing center, it's like, okay, you got to drive all the way to Sacramento. So you had to, A, pay already a ton of money mm. to take the test. Then you had to get a hotel room. And then, like, the test itself was, like, seven hours. Oh, my and gosh. In order to even get into the room, you had to go through these eight checkpoints. You couldn't wear certain kinds of clothing. And if you're a woman and it was that time of month, you weren't around, you were not allowed to bring your own product. They what? provide like the cheapest product they could find. Oh my gosh. And like even if you had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the test, you know, like hand over your test to a proctor, go to a back table where they like you have this little baggie with a time slip and your ID, and they'd sign you out. You go Good to the bathroom, Lord. someone's standing in the bathroom watching everyone go to the bathroom. Uh-uh. And so it's just like I don't I, I already had test anxiety, and then to be put in that situation oh. is really nah. Mm-mm. So we moved from California to Oregon and went, oh, where else are we going to move? We don't want to leave the West Coast, really. Mm-hmm. And then my husband was like, have you thought about Hawaii? And I was like, well, I mean, I, last time I was there, I was like 14, 15, something like that. So he set up this big vacation, brought me to Maui, and um, it was the most magical trip of my life. Oh. Like, we got off the plane, we drive to the hotel, which was like over on the west side. And like, we literally, we have just enough time to drop our bags in our hotel room to run down to the beach before sunset. Literally, as I'm putting my foot on the sand, here comes a mama whale and a baby whale. Like right there in front of us. And I'm just oh like, my oh, gosh. And that whole ship 
was just magical like that. Like, oh my magical goodness. moment after magical moment after magical moment. And I'm just like, yeah, I could live here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. So we moved here. And then we adopted our, our son, who's blonde. And a lot of the people I knew who grew up here who were blonde, like, don't do it. Don't do it. He's going to have to fight for his, like, fight every day. I'm like, oh, we can move back to the mainland from this. So we tried moving back to the mainland. And we're like, no, it goes back to Maui. And you know what? He has not had any issues whatsoever. That's awesome. No. He's precious. Well, yeah, he is. So we've been here. <laughs> Well, I mean, other than that little blip. Right. Since, Which uh, doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, my God. And just it's been I fun say, watching oh, Apollo grow up, too. What's he just doing? I say that Cardinal lands outside. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beautiful. It's that fairy magic, right? Yes, it is. It is. So, uh, Ginger, what do you have coming up on your channel? Oh, um... What do I have coming? I decided to take a tiny break, but it's not as tiny as I thought it was. Um, Sunday. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in March. Wrong month. What? Uh, Wrong month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sunday. Okay, Sunday. Jean and I are doing our uh, mysteries, and I believe, unless something's changed, we're doing mysteries of Anubis. Ooh. Um, when, when I was living in Las Vegas, they had an Egyptian event and I didn't know who Anubis was at the time. I was so drawn to him. And then I heard a uh, misnomer that he was like the God of death. That's basically how I heard it. So I'm like, Oh, I guess, no, maybe not. And then later on learning of who Anubis was, it's fascinating. And then even in the movie Gods of Egypt, have you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. Um, but anyway, so I was once told that my purpose here was to help people who are transitioning not to fear the transition. Mm -hmm. And that I should work with um, Azriel. And I thought, God, Osriel and Anubis are, are very similar, if not one and the same. Um, so we're, we're going to, um, I think, explore the energies of Anubis. And then That's Monday I have a, a live with Ali, heart and soul. Anubis is actually a deity that I've worked with. So. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. I'm so drawn to his energy. And so... <laughs> um, yeah, so that's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. What about you, Nancy? You got anything? Um, I I have um, I, I do uh, divine feminine readings with Heather on um, uh, Monday evenings. Mm -hmm. So that's what what I have planned for right now. I'm I'm not. I I have something scheduled uh, with uh, Michelle Marie, but it's it's in May, and so oh, okay. I'm not really sure when I'm gonna have my surgery. So I you know. Still up in the air, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll Makes it'll sense. take a while because you have to see the surgeons. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. Right, and they gotta mm -hmm. schedule it and plan for it. And yes, all that and all stuff. that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Jonathan? So on Monday, um, I know I have other stuff, but everything escaped my brain these days. <laughs> But Monday, I will be having um, Stephanie Burroughs, the creator oh, yeah. of Smoke, Ash, and Thorns, um, Smoke, Ash, and Embers, and the Thistle Down. Uh, she's I coming to join me. Smoke and Ash tonight. Yep. Uh, she's coming to join me, and we are going to chit chat about her newest deck, <laughs> Heartwood Tarot. I have seen images, and I'm oh, like, no, no, I'm trying to purchase <laughs> responsibly. <laughs> Yeah, well, I was very lucky. She sent me a um, you got a prototype. A prototype. Mm -hmm. mm, you love yeah. it. It's very different from her other decks because her other decks are very much outdoors in the forest, right? Uh, right. And this one is, is, what's this one called again, Jonathan? Heartwood Tarot. Heartwood. Okay. Heartwood is one word. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's the adventure of a little mouse in the woods who discovers an abandoned manor or cottage whatever yeah um, cottage. and so each image is like a scene of this mouse exploring this cottage 
Oh, that's that sounds Huge story in it. Oh my! Yeah. So uh, pre-orders. So for Monday, that. what time? Uh, nine a.m. my time, which would be oh, I'll have to rewatch. No, three p.m. your time. Yeah. I think I'll still be at work. Darn. Um. And I know I had something else lined up, not next week, but maybe the week after. But escaping my brain right now. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's 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 my next thing is on Monday. Yeah. I'm chatting with Stephanie. That will be an exciting one. So um, mm. I I'm gonna have to watch the playback. I would love to see that one. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. 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 And pre-orders. You, you've by. had her on your channel before, right? Oh yeah, I've had her a couple times, before. right? Yeah. This yeah. is actually the third prototype she sent me. I feel very lucky. You are very lucky. You are blessed. I'm blessed, definitely. Thank <laughs> you Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Sometimes when you're like caught up in dealing with everyday life, you forget the blessings you have. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But thank you again. This has thank been you. amazing. And I cannot believe that we've been on for like an hour and 21 minutes already. Yes. Like, really? Even by fast. How did that happen? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> As yeah. you know, time flies when you're having fun with your friends. Sure. Sure. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. thank you again, Jonathan, for having us. This yes. Is thank yes. you. And it's thank you, everyone in chat. Everyone oh, yes. in chat. All right. And thank you, everyone who's watching the playback. Yes. Thank you, guys. Yes. Until oh. next time, right. we hope. Aloha. Hello. Ah. <laughs>